I am freaking out. I have never cooked non-veg before. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, actually, it's quite nice. It has to be pro chef versus pro chef now, guys. There are two types of people on this planet. One who like to cook and the rest who like to eat. Guess who am I? I'm definitely not the one to cook. But on this show of home chef versus pro chef, everyone has to cook. You, me and a pro chef. Hi guys, my name is Chef Rohan D'Souza and I'm your pro chef for the afternoon. Uh, I've been cooking for the last 20 years and uh, it's great to be here cooking with Bianca. Though every cook requires the perfect appliances, we are at the Bosch and Siemens Experience Center where we'll be using the Siemens Home Appliances, which gives a designer look to your kitchen and giving the best cooking results. So here I've got this big monster which I'm going to take out. Okay, we are going to be cooking a lovely lobster dish. Oh my god, I am freaking out. I have never cooked non-veg before. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Uh, my Gujarati family watching this is going to have a mini heart attack chef. Mummy, who's so karu me koi di was lobster pela nathi khadu. This is my job. So basically, uh, we'll get this lobster out on the cutting board. Okay. Okay. Run him from here all the way down. Oh my god! I'm out. Yes. Okay. And now that was a crack. And now you'll go all the way down. Yes. Okay. So here we go. We've got this lobster and I'm going to wash it under some running water. Okay. Okay, so Bianca, this is our lobster, which I've cleaned. I'm going to give you one piece and I'm going to cook one piece. Basically what we do, we take some salt, okay. a pinch of salt, roll it across the lobster. We have some pepper powder, but we can also use cracked pepper. And some pepper. So we have some olive oil. Just let's drizzle it all across the tail. Okay, I've got some lemon juice. We're like giving it a nice bath. Yes. In so many ingredients. And some freshly chopped parsley, flat leaf parsley. I'm using flat leaf parsley this afternoon. Okay. Glaze it with a little bit of garlic butter. Our lobster's dressed and ready to go. And I love butter, so I'm going to add a little bit more of it. So now that the marination is done, we're going to sear this lobster on the semen teppanyaki. I have originally seen uh, one of those traditional tapas in this fine dining Japanese life kitchen where the chef was nicely cooking in front of the guests. And now you too can relive this experience in the comfort of your house with the semen teppanyaki, which we have right now at the Bosch and Siemens Experience Center. This teppanyaki is really modern and niche where you can prepare any authentic oriental dish on its high quality stainless steel surface which not only promises good flavour but also provides a perfect canvas for cooking light and healthy dishes. What I'm really impressed by this teppanyaki is the touch slider control. I just have to glide my fingers across this temperature scale to the desired level or just directly touch it to the point. I need my dish to cook. Okay. So we need to put these lobsters on the teppanyaki grill. Okay, uh, let's glaze it with a little bit of oil. Okay, some olive oil on it. And now we take our lobster, okay, and we're going to place it mm. inside down. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay. Turn it down. Yeah, turn it, turn it. I think it's going to be good. If you want to go down, you can use the tong. Okay? Yeah. So here we go. We've got both the lobsters on the teppanyaki grill. Our teppanyaki grill is on the highest flame. Okay. Okay. We need to be grilling these lobsters for a couple of minutes. See what we're going to do is going to turn it. Okay. And here we go. So it's nicely grilled on one side. Okay. And as we go, we're going to turn it on the other side. Some little bit of olive oil still now on top as we go, as we glaze it. Yeah. So you can glaze yours too. Okay. Okay, so we can actually make a ready-made butter garlic here with your fresh leaf parsley. Okay. Okay. You also can put some. And it's some softened butter. And we just whisk it away nicely in the bowl like this. And we can apply it on our lobster. I love how this sauce is gliding on this perfect canvas surface. It's truly good to cook up some good and healthy flavours. You can turn the lobster. Yes. Oh, mommy. Yes. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Are, Are we going to be eating the shell also? Not really. Okay. It's going to be covered with our cheese sauce. 
I think we can have some fun and if you like some wine, we can put some wine into it and just glaze it with some wine on this hot tapenyaki. Mm. So one advantage that I'm getting on this tapenyaki is that it's, you know, equally uh, flattened and it's like sort of got an edge to it. It actually smells amazing. You can make a nice cheese sauce and finish it now in a semen Yum! Garden. I'm so okay. excited. We just place it in the oven. So, Bianca, uh, this is our ingredients now for our truffle cheese sauce. Okay. Put your bit of olive oil in the, in the pan. We'll put a teaspoon of uh, onion. I like a lot of garlic, so we've got like uh, a pot of minced garlic in there. So we're going to deglaze a bit of wine into this. Add a bit of a bit of truffle paste into it. Okay. So it's while it's sweating, we'll deglaze it with a bit of wine, a little dash of wine, so you get a. Wow. Yes, enough, enough, enough. That's a lot yes. of smoke. Okay. Actually, the best cooking happens in a smoke-free kitchen. And what more do you want when you have a combination of induction technology with powerful extraction with the Siemens induction air hop, which is intelligently designed with climate control sensors that automatically adjust the ventilation model and also give a spark of style with a simple and minimalistic look to your kitchen. As the wine is deglazing and it's bubbling out here, okay, the wine has been reduced in the pan. Okay, then we'll add a bit of a stock into it. You can use seafood stock, you can use a vegetable stock, anything. Stock gives it a lovely flavor to the sauce. Mine is very watery. No problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. Okay, I'm a bit on the higher flame. I reduced my flames a bit. Let's go down now. We've got a little bit of mustard into it. Okay. You can put in a knob of butter. Okay, whisk it nicely. You can put in some cream into your sauce. Okay. okay. You can put in the cream. everything. Yeah, you can put in everything. Not an issue. So now, once we are on the stage, okay, we can be generous and put in our cheese. Okay. Lovely. Okay. We can all I eat love some cheese. As well? Yeah, it's all up to you. we all love our cheese and stuff mm. like that. I'll use half my cheese. Then we'll adjust with a small pinch of salt, and then we've got a little bit of. Lemon zest, which we'll put because it's a seafood dish and we like it a little bit lemony or a little citrusy. Okay, so we grate a little bit in the pan. Very mildly, very light you have to be, yes. Mm. Yes, yes. Do what the pro says. Yes, I think that's enough. Okay. <laughs> so our sauce is basically almost ready. Okay, and we'll get our lobster out. So yeah, I want to Please how's your sauce? do the honors. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's quite nice. It's got its head, it's got the lemon. It has to be pro chef versus pro chef now, guys. So let's get the lobster out of the oven now. Yes. Let's do it. Okay, that looks lovely. Now we'll spoon our sauce on top of this lobster and we'll add our cheese onto it and then let's go. Okay, so yeah. take the lobster, put the cheese, put the sauce on it. And then we can put some nice cheese on top. I must say you're doing a very good job, you're keeping up to me quite well. You'll be a really great sous chef. Uh, Thank you so kids. much. <laughs> I've got a little parsley, some few herbs into it. Okay. Our parsley is on, back into the oven for a couple of minutes, let it nice and bubble. I love how the cheese is oozing out of the sauce. Now, the fun element of this dish is using a fresh truffle. One, two, three. I think we're ready to go. A bit of olive oil, a drizzle of olive oil on the plate. To go with. Finally! That's how, that's what a nice baked lobster in truffle cheese sauce looks like. Let's dig in and let's see if we've done justice to this dish. Yes. Amazing chef, I'm gonna go and dig into yours. Okay. It 
tastes just the same, guys. High five. Thank you. Well, that was surely a fun round of cooking and I'm sure I can take some of these tips and become a pro one day too. Hopefully. If you do want to cook up some healthy and delicious recipes, then get your hands on the semen stepanyaki that we were using today at the Bosch and Siemens Experience Center. Well, that was it from my end. This is me, Bianca Saurashri. I'll see you soon in some more episodes with some interesting recipes cooking up. Have a good day.